the idea of the single eye as the adrenals being an aperture for the spirit of the single eye. I've always associated the spirit of the single eye with, with focus of not forgetting what it is you're about. And sometimes I've thought one example of, I mean, this kind of might sound kind of silly, but an example of the spirit of the single eye is weeds. Because you, you, you weed them out and there's a little bit of something left, like comfrey. There's a little piece of stem left that will grow. It just does not stop or it spreads seeds. It has like about four or five different ways of, of um, um, keeping itself strongly on the earth. And um, I often think that some of those characteristics are something that I could do to remember when I'm about a project. And you, you hit a wall, okay, then there's another way. What's another way I could do that? Um, and um, because I don't want to be giving up on the things that are important just because I ran into something in myself or something in, in <coughs> my world. And we've been talking about the capacities quite a bit. And um, I've really been seeing how um, the, the dynamic between, as Jane was saying, between the spiritual and the emotional, the dynamic between different um, of our capacities generates a, a quality or, or, um, or a river virtue, as we were saying for that list. So that, and in this case, um, the, the mental and the emotional, there's like an interaction, you could say, um, where the, the mental um, um, in, in, right, in right polarity is about seeing, and the emotional is about openness. And then when you have both of those at play, then you have understanding. It's, it, because if it was only mental, you'd be seeing. Um, and, and sometimes I, it seems like some people want to camp out in one corner. I'm comfortable, maybe I'm comfortable with just thinking, I just want to watch, I just want to see things. Um, but there isn't the element of the emotional that's, that's open to, to interact with what is seen. Or maybe um, I like, I just go by feeling, you know, and I, I've got a little bit of that where somebody puts up a list or a diagram and my mind kind of turns to fuzz a bit. Um, and, but, I've really seen how I need to um, um, really focus and really see. Like I need to use my mind to see. And, and um, maybe it takes some focusing and, and, and uh, um, really letting some understanding come about something um, to, to let those things be at play. So that We've had a lot of different experiences in our time together so far. And some of them would be something where there's like a diagram um, and other ones where it's a feeling thing. And um, um, we need to swim in both to, to, to um, um, be open to the experiences and the, the gifts of both. Well, actually, all, all of the capacities, but in this, in this instant, um, we're talking about the mental capacity and the emotional. And I noticed in this definition of attunement that was on the poster, um, attunement is the practice of opening thought and feeling to the source of wisdom and love, which is within all people. And so if, if I'm feeling resistance about a particular um, kind of experience or a particular part of my capacities, then um, the, the dynamics that are meant to happen between different parts are thwarted in some way. Um, 
because they're all needed. And it's actually quite a discovery to realize how much intricacy and variety there is you know, in, in the dynamics of our capacities. Um, I find often when, like when people ask about it and you say something about it, and usually it gets related to something they know, which, um, like, oh yeah, that's love, you know, or, or I might say something about the endocrine glands, and oh yeah, there's the chakras. But, but there, are, there are different systems and they're not all the same. And if I'm always trying to find, um, to describe it in just one word, if I, if I want one word to serve everything, it kind of limits the, um, the variety and um, perception of something more that I could, could, could um, experience. And the thing about this, the spirit of the single eye, from what I understand, it's from um, a quote attributed to um, Master Jesus, where he said, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. And that makes me think of something sort of laser-like, you know, not, not just general, generalized light, but light that, that has a direction, has a focus. And that would have quite an effect on, on our body, wouldn't it? Doesn't it? And the spirit of understanding, and that includes the seeing and the, and the openness, um, like with, with what was read in the, um, in the attunement card, um, there, there are little shoots of possibility of a new creation or of, of just something new where it, it's almost like it needs a reception. There need to be people in the world who see something new and creative that's just starting to happen and, and, and support it and understand what's happening instead of being distracted by <clears throat> all those other things that you could be distracted by. And if there's understanding that yes, that is happening too. But there's there's um, there's something there's there's an, an element of celebration that needs to be happening with these delicate shoots of of what's real, of what's new. And I don't want to sit back and just watch and analyze. <laughs> I don't want to just be open to everything without um, uh, without having a greater and greater understanding of what's at play. Because um, I, I almost don't think we have understanding of a, of a lot. There's a lot for us to understand <laughs> yet, even, and, and, and it's not so much I won't get into that. There was um, a line in the prayer that Maureen read. Um, trust, trust the spirit. I trust the spirit of the single eye in me. And I don't, for me, that's the answer where I know that, that the the core of, the, of that dynamic is present in me and I can build on that and I can um, um, use that in handling what I'm handling and use it with greater and greater mastery. You know, because like, just discovering it is one thing, but using it with some mastery is, is another. So, this, I've been really enjoyed exploring this, and in a way it's just one dynamic of, of two capacities, and then there's all, all of the rest. So that we, we have so much at, literally at our hand, or right within our body, in handling things. Like the, the spirit of the single eye is one. 
and I'm interested in, like I say, developing the mastery and um, having a sense of what's at play because I've maybe explored it um, and then recognizing it when it's happening in, in my world. So I think that's what I would like to bring about this this morning. And oh, could you just repeat that one that saying from Master Jesus? Yes. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. 